Welcome to a mixture of three different locks. So these are some locks of uh, the package that I received from Leon's Lockpad and that's actually a prize that I won on his channel. And I'm gonna pick the master for you, decode the digital combination padlock and I'm gonna give you an update on the ERA 5 lever lock. Let's start with the master. I don't have a key for this master so I will pick it of course. Um, and you can see here it's a master M1. So first I want to pick it uh, from the open side. So with this uh, thin Peterson gem, 15 thousandths of an inch, I can reach up all the way. That's pretty good. So if the bidding is crazy, that's probably the uh, right way to pick this lock. Let's do that really quick. Moderate or at least moderate tension, you can see that. One, two, three, four, not open yet. Coming back to the front. Again, and it's open. Yeah, you can also pick it by using a wiper insert tension wrench uh, on the open side, and then using a pick with a thin shaft and go in from here. So let's do that. That's more comfortable, but. Probably not always possible if the bidding is too crazy. And it's only four pins, four standard pins. And here it's open. And we can also get into this lock with a rake. Light to medium tension this time and it's open. So it's pretty easy, really, really easy to open this lock. And it's ridiculous how easy it is compared to the physical security of this lock. You can see that it's a laminated padlock with a barbarian locking mechanism. And it's locked on, on both sides of the shackle. And on the shackle you can read boron carbide. Uh, and already the sound tells you that this is probably hardened and you can see some scratches here but not really deep so I really believe that this is hardened so yeah pretty um, pretty different between uh, pretty big difference between the physical security and the uh, core security anyway let's move on to the uh, era five lever lock and I did some work on it and made myself a plastic cover from a plexiglass. And to work with plexiglass, it's not uh, it's not very nice. So drilling, filing, and uh, sawing is uh, yeah, it's not so easy. And you always fear that you scratch the surface and that the uh, uh, that the plexiglass uh, snaps or yeah, it's. It's not so nice compared to a wood or a metal, but I managed to do it uh, correctly. So you have to pay attention that the position of the cutout for the uh, for the keyhole and the screws are aligned in the right way. Otherwise, uh, when you uh, screw on this plate, um, this part here would not not uh, stick out perpendicular to the base, uh, which it should be because otherwise the lock uh, wouldn't function correct. And you also have to have uh, this cutout here for the bolt and this hole here uh, yeah, for this bolt here. Um, I get the key. Now you can see how it works nicely without holding these uh, levers in place. It's locked and opened again. Yeah, very, very nice. So I just need to have uh, some picks now and then I can watch myself uh, at least trying to pick this open. And once I get the 
feeling for this lock. I might uh, cover it and then I might try a, a real picking of it, uh, but that's, uh, that's the future. So, the last lock here in my uh, mixture, I want to show you this funny 8-bit digital combination padlock. Zoom in a little bit. Um, it has the combination 3, 4, 6, 7 and opens. Um, and to decode this lock you don't have to do much. It actually decodes itself, if you want to say so. Um, now it's closed again and uh, the combination is reset. What I do to decode this lock is I push this button, which unlocks the shackle and now the shackle wants to come out and it's under spring tension. And by this also the locking mechanism is tensioned. And now, uh, depending on the binding order, you will feel a resistance on the buttons when you push them down. So I just push them down one by one, back and forth, and try to feel uh, which one wants to be pushed down and which one not. So five wants to stay up, I leave it. And then I just go uh, the other way around and Oh, and it's open. You can see, haha, <laughs> that's pretty easy. Um, fun little lock, not really secure. Um, you can see, um, yeah, it uh, has the combination 3, 4, 6, 7. I'll push it down all the way. 3, 4, 6, 7. Um, but I can also say that the combination is 54. So why is this? So I say the combination is. 54 and if you wanna think about yourself you might wanna pause the video now but I will tell you. Um, I need something to write on. Here we go. Zoom out a little bit. So let me write down the the digits or the, the positions. We have position 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 and if the button is pushed down, I, I write a 1, and if the button is not pushed down, I write a 0. So we have the code 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, uh, 0. And now, these are um, 8 positions, so that's actually a byte. <laughs> and this is the representation of a number in the binary code. So it's a binary, binary representation of a number. And if you want to uh, calculate this number in the decimal representation, uh, you could use a calculator, but I will do that um, quickly by hand just for, just for fun. So um, as this is a binary, binary representation, it's base 2, and this position has the value of 2 to the power of 0, this 2 to the power of 1, so two is actually um, so that's the that's the base, and we and that's the position index, and so we continue two to the power of seven, and to get the decimal representation, you need to you need to multiply this value here uh, with the value of your code, and then sum up everything. So zero times something is zero. I just uh, skip that. I start with uh, two. Then we have 4, then we have nothing, it would be 8, but uh, it has a 0. Then we have 16 and 32. And I'll sum up everything. This uh, together is 84 and this together is 6, which gives a value uh, of 50, 54. <laughs> I should have better used the calculator. So that's um, that's 54, and that's the decimal value of this binary code. So you can say that this code here, the 3467, is actually uh, 55 in uh, decimal uh, representation. Okay, so enough of that. Um, I want to say thank you again to Leon's Luckpad for this cool for these cool locks. And everybody else, thanks for watching, happy picking, and bye-bye!